The gentleman yields back. The chair recognizes the gentlewoman from Puerto Rico, Ms. Gonzalez Colon, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to give tribute to Congressman Dong Young. For almost 50 years, Congressman Dong Young proudly represented all Alaska. The Dean of the House, as he was affectionately known, was the ninth longest tenure members of Congress. His passing last week leaves a huge void for his constituents, for this body, and certainly for so many of us who had the honor of personally knowing Don. For me personally, I, I thought he was a mentor for many of the issues that we shared together. Our path uh, first crossed when I was 20 years old, and I was elected among a young uh, group of fellow young Republicans to meet Congressman Young when he visited the island to discuss its future political status. It was in that moment when I was able to witness firsthand his loyalty to the causes he deeply cared about, including Puerto Rico's quest for statehood. Little did I, did I know that at that time uh, that I will have the fortune and honor to serve along him, alongside him in this U.S. House of Representatives and to sit on the two committees he ever served on and chaired, the Natural Resources and the Transportation and Infrastructures Committee. Congressman Donion had a unique perspective when it came to Puerto Rico's fight for statehood and full equality as American citizens. He could relate because of he moved to Alaska shortly after he was admitted into the Union as the 49th state. As Alaska's sole representative in, in the House, he understood better than anyone else the inequities under the territorial status and the opportunities that statehood brings. He knew what kind of fight we will be in for, and he was with us every step of the way. He understood the difficulties of representing a non-continuous district here in this body, and because of this, Puerto Rico found on him an immediate ally. He frequently visited the island and even served as an election observer in one of our most recent referendums, demonstrating once again his long-standing commitment to ensuring the island's 3.2 million American citizens had their voice heard. When former Speaker Paul Ryan was giving a tribute to Congressman Dong Yon when he became the Dean of the House, he said, you always knew where he stood, but more importantly, you always knew where you stood with him. And that is because he made no secret of his politics or his opinion. He was a staunch supporter of utilizing domestic energy and mineral production and infrastructure development to spur economic growth. He also fiercely defended Alaska Natives' rights and worked tirelessly to ensure they were enabled to improve their lives and economic status. He was a loyal friend to organized labor and to his fellow veterans. Congressman Dong Yon was a legislative force of nature. He was the primary sponsor of 123 bills that were enacted into law, including legislation for the Trans-Alaska Pipeline in his first year in Congress. And more often than not, he crossed the aisle on bills such as the Infrastructure Investment and Jones Jobs Act, women's rights such as the Lily, uh, Lily Let Better Fair Pay Act of 2009, and the magnuson Stephen Act, otherwise known as the John Studd Bill, which re revolutionized federal fisheries management and preserved the commercial fishing industry in Alaska and across the country. Mr. Speaker, Congressman Dong Young's legacy will live on in every Alaskan, in every member who has served with him, and every staffer who has been fortunate to learn from him. His passing leaves a big void, he tortured hearts, our lives deeply in so many ways. And his, this house will never be the same without Don. I pray for his wife, Anne, and Congressman Young's two daughters and his grandchildren. Thank you. Gracias, Don Young. Godspeed. I yield back. The gentlewoman yields back.